Hi, it's Dr. Z. In this video, I will review the structure of neurons. I will be using the concept of a telephone pole as a way of describing the general structure of neurons. I will also provide a brief introduction to how neurons communicate through both electrical and chemical transmission. First, imagine a telephone pole. The main pole can be considered the cell body of a neuron. At the top of a telephone pole, you see wires sticking out. In a neuron, these can be considered dendrites. Dendrites are branch-like extensions from the cell body that receive signals from other neurons. Now, a telephone pole does not exist all by itself. Well, to what does it connect to? It has to connect to another telephone pole. The cell body of the first neuron connects to the cell body of the second neuron by the axon. The axon is a slender tail-like extension that transmits electrical signals to other neurons or dendrites. To speed up communication along the axon, it is covered by myelin sheath, or a white fatty coating that acts as insulation. In other words, imagine a white fluffy marshmallow covering the axon. In this drawing, the myelin sheath is colored yellow. The signal travels faster along the myelin sheath because it hops from one myelin sheath to another rather than going slowly along the regular axon. The myelin sheath is extremely important because damage or deterioration of the myelin sheath results in slow down or non-existent communication between neurons. The disease called multiple sclerosis or MS is a result of the deterioration of the myelin sheath. Now a surprise little fact, the gap between the myelin sheath is called the nodes of Ranvier, which is not illustrated in this drawing. So, so far, neurons engage in electrical communication as they send electrical signals across the axon. Now, we have a big surprise at the end of the axon. The little green circle is showing that the axon is not physically connected to the second neuron. So how does the electrical signal reach the second neuron? This is where chemical transmission happens. The large green circle will be an enlarged drawing of the synapse, or the area where the axon of the sending neuron meets the receiving neuron. The, synap the synapse is where the sending neuron communicates with the receiving neuron across the synaptic cleft. The synaptic cleft is this little gap between the two neurons. It is in this synaptic cleft where synaptic vesicles release neurotransmitters that bind to the receptors of the receiving neuron, completing the cycle of communication. In summary, the concept of a telephone pole helps explain the structure of neurons and how they communicate with each other. Neurons communicate via electrical and chemical transmission. First, neurons communicate through electrical impulses along the axon with the help of the myelin sheath. And then they communicate using chemical signals by releasing neurotransmitters across the synaptic cleft. This drawing is a simplified way of explaining the structure of neurons and a brief introduction to how neurons communicate.